Hey guys, how's it going? I haven't uploaded in a while, and that's because I was finishing my degree. Uh, this one here is a, a quick video to show how I make and how I use ideal op amps and cadence. Uh, there's often times when you want to ignore the non-ideal effects of an op amp so that you can finish the rest of the design. So the quickest way to do this, or at least the way I do, I do it, is I use a VCVS, which stands for uh, voltage controlled voltage source that's this right here you can find it in the analog lib and it's pretty easy to use you can control the dc voltage gain i have set to uh, just for an example i'm going to show you i have it set to 100,000, which is a dc gain of uh, 80 decibels and then you can set the maximum output voltage and then your minimum output voltage so you want to think of these like your vdd for the op amp and then the VSS, because you'll never go higher or lower than your VDD or your VSS. So going back to the schematic, um, I've added some pins here. Uh, we have the positive terminal of the op amp, the negative terminal, the output, and then you have a negative output. You can go ahead and you can ground these, make these your input. Uh, your positive negative terminal and then make uh, this your output you can go ahead and turn it into a symbol that looks like this uh, so here's a, a test bench I have set up it's a non-inverting configuration a gain of three because two divided by one plus one is equal to three and this is what the symbol looks like so actually it looks like an op amp and we have this test input here a sine wave just to show that the op amp is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Um, we have an offset voltage of 700 millivolts, amplitude 600, and frequency of a kilohertz. And we run this simulation, I run a transient simulation, and we're looking at the positive terminal, negative terminal, and then the output. Oh, uh, we can see if it's uh, if it's doing what it's supposed to. So we have our waveforms here, and what do we expect? We expect the the output to be three times greater than the input, right? So our input here is 1.3, so we would expect 3.9, and that's what we get. And then for our lows, this is our our input, by the way, this this red line right here, um, and then. Uh, for the low, uh, 100 millivolts uh, times three, you get 300 millivolts. So it's it's behaving like an op amp. We have a gain of three, and you can go ahead and play with these settings here. I'm not going to, but you can. Uh, if you decrease this voltage gain, make it uh, just a uh, thousand or ten thousand, you're going to notice that this positive and negative terminal voltage. Uh, will start to deviate. They won't be the same anymore because the op amp is becoming less ideal. Uh, but again, of 80 dB, uh, you're not going to run into that issue as much because uh, there is no offset voltage here uh, to make it so that happens. And that's basically the, the quick and easy for making an ideal op amp in cadence is just using this VCVS. That's all you wanted, then there you go. But if you want to take it a step further, you can create something uh, called a macro, and it looks something like this. You take the exact same VCVS right here, about the same settings, make it five volts, um, and then you add this low pass filter on the input, a, a two pole low pass filter. And what you can do with this is you can adjust the capacitors and the resistors to behave like a, a two-pole system that you design. So you can give your ideal op amp a, a phase margin and a unit of gain frequency and a gain bandwidth that you desire. So for the capacitors and resistor calculations, you can do it by hand or you can use MATLAB and Excel. Uh, I'm using MATLAB here. This is a pretty simple script. All you do is enter the capacitor values. I have them set to default, one microfarad. A, you enter a second pole of your two pole system, your DC gain of your VCVS, and then your desired phase margin, somewhere between 45 and 60 is fine. 
And first thing it does is it calculates the first ball of the two pole system. And then it calculates uh, the resistor values, so R1 and R2. And it spits it out right here, 3.14, 10 to the fifth. And R2 is about eight ohms. And then I also have it so it calculates the unity gain frequency that's over here. And we can compare this value with the one that cadence gives us. Uh, so that will be interesting. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I entered those values, uh, the resistors here and the capacitors here. And our DC gain is 100,000. And so let's set up a test bench. This is the test bench I have. It's uh, the op amp, the VCVS, in a uh, unity gain configuration. I have an I probe here in the feedback network feedback network and uh, I'm grounding the the positive terminal normally you would want to put this as a, a DC source that satisfies your common mode input requirements uh, but since this is an ideal op amp uh, it doesn't really need that it can uh, do just fine with ground um, so let's go ahead and set up the simulation I have a stability analysis uh, from uh, 0.1 hertz to 1 gigahertz. I selected the I probe here and then the local ground name I entered here. So let's run that and see what happens. So that took a few seconds. This opened up, zero errors, great. We can open up the main form and we'll go ahead and plot this loop gain. And we'll, uh, oh, there's a phase margin right there, 60 degrees. That's what we calculated. And we'll add that to the output as well. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and add that unity gain frequency. So that's the PM frequency, 21.94K hertz. Add that. So now we have all those saved. We can go back to our ADL and plot these. And there is our two pole transfer function. Pull the phase down here. Um, what did we say uh, the unit gain frequency was? In the MATLAB, it was about 2.19, 10 to the fourth. Um, well, that's what this is. And then we, we entered a phase margin of 60. So the, the MATLAB code calculation seems to be working how it should. And you can also plot the the transfer function within MATLAB. I'm going to compare the uh, the waveforms here, and I bet you they are going to be uh, pretty dang close, if not exact. Um, so that's about all I have. I hope this was kind of a quick video. Feel free to leave a, a like or a dislike or a comment. Uh, ask me some questions. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a good one.